All right, we are ready for the next race of the day. We have Axum versus Paratroopa. This will be a regular season match. Uh, no wonder we're we'll coming around this time. Um, for both of our racers here, Axum, she has a record of two and six. Uh, best win of 846 and an average win of 946. Pretty good numbers there, but uh, Paratroopa is sporting a, some better numbers. Uh, has a record of seven and one, a uh, slower best win time by ten seconds with eight fifty six, and an average win of eleven oh three. So slower times, but a better record. Uh, probably because Paratroopa had their opponent die and they were slow playing to get the get the victory. So we'll see if we get some pushing by Paratroopa and Axum, or if uh, we see some slow play. Should be starting in about a minute here. And oh, hi Jack. Jack's in the booth. Yeah, Axum was one of the, Axum got three out of my Mac, but all those races were really, really close. So her record's a little, uh, not representative of how well she's played. Um, Fair enough. That's why she's so high on the on the on the list on in the standings, even though she had kind of a rough record in the first week. Yeah, um, just based off of the uh, both of their records, I was wondering why they paired together. But yeah, that that makes sense. And um, Axum's got hyper shock later in the week. Paratrooper's pants. That's part of the. They're actually not in a triplet. They're in a quad uh, racing square, I guess. Most of everyone's in triplets. Like I'm racing Joe and Gun Lovers and them, you know. Right. And Gun Lovers. Are, but yeah, they're, they're a quad. Uh, Axon Pants are Hypershock and Paratrooper. It's too cool for three. All right, we got our seeds up here, so we'll be starting right now. Oh, I always get confused every time I watch Axe and... <laughs> with that axe, yeah. Like just, just yeah, just lunge. Why aren't you just lunging? Just, <laughs> you could have just lunged right at the skeleton. It's fine. Uh, like like when I watch Squega too, and I'm like, wow, he's got a great build. <laughs> but no armor. <laughs> He's got plate mail. That's great. What? What? Oh, speaking that's, of pretty all right. That's pretty all right. Yeah, I, I would uh, replace them. Well, maybe there's something better in that blood shop. I would try to get the open. Neither of them are gonna open it with the dragon. Um, oh, I think axe taking the axe for uh, name reasons. <laughs> I think I might take that axe for axe reasons. <laughs> um, you're gonna have some decent boss kills Ooh, with the dagger phasing. That's a shot from a bat, right? That. Yeah, the Kaga is gonna be a quick kill. Um, you can go through Death Metal's it. shield if you so feel. Yeah, the gold the gold axe might be better if you can set that up. It's kind of hard to set up gold kills with the axe though, because you kind of just mock them away. Not oh, a great nice. lock shop. Gonna get some extra the health. Armor's there though. The armor's good. <laughs> okay, now it looks like we have an obsidian gold axe, so this is super awkward. <laughs> Paratrooper down to death metal first. Oh, he's running into that Minotaur. He actually got. Oh yeah, he had that extra heart container. Um. You can just hit the, the, the ghosts without them. Oh, uh, axe improving me wrong and showing how easy it is to set up the gold kill with the axe. Not yeah. at all hard. Very well done. It's a transmute spell out of the purple chest. Yeah, not very good. Um, but maybe you can kind of run into a... Uh... Oh, the... Uh... Do Foster the axe right? clones have an M on them? Or are those just eyeballs? I don't know. <laughs> Spooky. This axe is going to be okay. There's a lot of damage. There's a lot of high health enemies, and being able to do infinite damage is going to be a lot better than just having the two all the time. I'm trying to piece to the left over here for Axum. 
going to skip um, it. Yeah, I imagine you're going to see a paratrooper hit it. <laughs> he needs the health. And um, he's going to have a decent shot at it. Oh, she's going to bomb it. So we're going to see Seed Divergence here because he's going to... What is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> He's gonna throw his dagger. Oh, okay. <laughs> Looking for that uh, the uh, black wall yeah. there, so not gonna lose the dagger in it. But gets uh, gets the health, so that's good. Yeah, I guess he he would rather have the dagger phasing. I, he could have gambled and tried to get the electric dagger, but he probably considers the dagger phasing to be the second best of these daggers. Um, you can get a damage up. It's really nice there but you kind of don't want to see damage up because that means she has the damage up and she has a better weapon with that right and axum did find a uh, a freeze spell in their purple chest for the boss and what's in this purple chest it's a shield so there's your sh there's your spells she's got the spells she's got the, the ring the only thing she needs is a damage up from something like some boots or some sunglasses uh some health back Oh yeah, see the chest is in a different spot. Uh, so oh yeah. Really different too, just because of the ring of peace. But he's got that shield now too. She's gonna take region with her spells, which is pretty good. He's got the region now too in the spells, so like, um, they're pretty much even except for the fact that she has armor and he has a different weapon. Both keeping pace with each other really nicely here through the zone three. Oh, he's going to have to freeze. Oh, well, he accidentally froze with his uh, face. <laughs> There's a black chest there. It's a, it's bad. Ooh, Blood Axe. Not going to take it. Yeah, she it might like take passing it. it up. She's going to see it. I think you have to take that. Yeah, that's going to be uh, five kill heals for Axum paired with that uh, Crown of Thorns. Oh, well, that, that Minotaur got away. He, he maybe could have shielded it. Uh, he probably should have just shielded so that it, it he face tanked it. But all right, both of them should just blood freeze this. She's gonna get there eventually. It takes a little while. Actually, she's not gonna. Run. Oh, she just barely got it. Actually, just bringing up the suspense level. Oh, grenade Maze. charm! Oh, that's huge. <laughs> yeah, that's Richard real good. Doesn't have enough bombs. Bring back. Oh, it's so beautiful and scary. Okay, it's <laughs> dead. It's so dead. Axum's turn to deal with it now. Oh, <laughs> got it. He's gonna push forward. They're neither of them check that Shriner. They don't really want darkness. Probably they have mapping and a ring. So there's not much in there for him. He could probably could have taken a. Uh, Uncertainty Shrine, and maybe try to get something there. Oh, Axum taking a hit. Yeah, from that she blood just needs nightmare. to get to the next floor. She can't. She can't shield. Oh, these these Blade Masters. She's gonna lose a lot of time just to not having that damage. Eventually, gets down the stairs though and gets the Ring of Regen heal. She's gonna have a lot of heals. I mean, she, all she has to do is, is hit stuff, and she she has a lot of heals. He's going to shield, too, to make sure that he doesn't take a hit from that ogre. And there's a potion, but he doesn't have the bombs. He can't really afford to spend the bomb. He uh, will, though. He's going to, anyway. Yeah, he's got a map, so maybe he can find bombs in zone 5. That has to be his. There's no bombs on this floor. Maybe he can find a blood shovel in the shop or something. Like last time. No, nothing in there. He's not even checking black chest. He's happy with his two damage. Axum did pick up the potion as well and is moving on into this mini boss room. Yeah, but she has... Uh... She only has two bombs now, too. She has to spend... Uh, some... She's take... fine. She's going <laughs> to take a little bit. It's scary. Um, so, Parachute can just blood freeze here. Oh, and he should have frozen. Not freezing is going to cost him a lot of time there. Um... He just freezes him on a throw, and he can pop him three times. That'd have been a that would have been a very large um, time save. She blood shielded. She probably meant to blood freeze. 
But she, yeah. And there's the freeze. Gonna skip the boss chest and move right down to zone 5. Still needs to catch up to Paratroopa. Yeah, it's kind of the consequences of running the, the base axe the entire time is you. If you never find uh, any damage, it's not very good. There's really nothing in that arena either. We'll see if she checks that. No, she's not. So they're about even now. And Paratroopa's gonna have a quick kill on Deadringer though with this uh, phasing dagger. So mm -hmm. it's gonna have a nice advantage. Yeah. This should be a little bit ahead, right here, I think. No, they're not the same. She also has two bombs for the Necrodancer, and he only has the one. So we're gonna see some butt puzzles unless we get bailed out somewhere. He says no, he wants to keep his... Uh... I don't know why you checked the black chest. If you're not taking an axe or anything like that, because you want to keep your... Well, Blood Freeze here should be good. Oh, oh. She, she, has to, oh she should be okay here. There it is. No, freeze the dude. Okay, it's fine. Axe, I'm going to check for a Blast Helm or a Bomb spell. Didn't find either. It's going to come down to how, how kind these Blood Puzzles are to both of these racers. He's got to do, that, that's a good one, but he's got to do one extra one. Who gets the Necrodancer off the stage for Axum? Dorian taking a hit, but we're on phase two. This should be okay. He's going to have this, and then he'll just have to bomb out. But it's... Four hits already for Axum. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to have, oh... One versus five at this point. Oh, he messes up that lure and gets frozen. Good blood shield to get out of it, but uh, he's got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Axum gets the kill. Oh, man, it's so close. That is very close. Axum having trouble getting that last little hit there. <laughs> you can see Paratroopa's cursor on the screen there trying to get the uh, Discord dot done as fast as it can. That could um, be contested. I mean, that's going to be with 25 seconds, so it's going to yeah, be hard contested. That'll be contested for sure. Um, I'm going to tentatively give it to Axum, though. Yeah. Having that extra bomb uh, won it. And Paratroopa could have checked red um, on one of those bosses and didn't. And you know, since every second counted, not freezing uh, Kaga and hitting him three times with the Frost Dagger while he was on the throne could have been the difference there. Uh, he also checked that arena, but she probably had to. Because, you know, she, and um, the uh, black chest uh, in the 5-3 shop. Yeah, like, there's no need to check that stuff. Because he didn't take a titanium rapier, so I don't know what he's taking. He's not taking titanium rapier. Um, that's just how you need to know to make those quick decisions, because seconds do matter. Beats matter. Yeah, the difference was... Just a couple of seconds, so you know you start looking back like, oh, everything I did, we watched back, and like that was a ten-minute run. So surely I, I I lost like a minute overall, so I could have saved a bunch of time. It was a good run. Um, yeah, good race. All right, next seed getting in. Oh, the copy paste. I use it. You can see me mess up sometimes where I'll try to put it in my seed and I get like C. <laughs> yeah, you had, the, you had a C in your last seed. <laughs> just like, oh, that's not right. Control C. Oh, no. I had one where it, the first digit of the seed copied twice for whatever reason. Mm. Give me the wrong seed. And then I tried to do uh, Control A to erase the entire, select all and erase. <laughs> uh, no, that's not what I think. Oh, it's a purple scroll anyway, so he was probably hoping to get a leprechaun uh, on the one. But purple scroll, which is going to be coming handy. He's going to be able to get into the blood shop for free um, if, he, if they find it. Right, glass axe in your one-two red chest. Glass axe? 
Uh, glass, <laughs> glass torch. <laughs> He's gonna skip it. You can't skip that. You cannot skip that. If you, if you want, if you want to, you should take it. And then, like, if you want to, you can drop it before going to zone three. He's oh, gonna big in here. <laughs> you can step on that spike trap, I think. Yeah, Plus you don't. You know traps because you can't go on trap doors. He's not gonna see these bombs unless he's screen watching. Looks like he's going straight to the stairs. Oh no. Yeah, Paratrip is an old racer, he knows. Oh, there's the blood shop! To the right, she just appeared. Oh, there goes the glass uh, torch. There's a lock shop. It's very Ooh, good. It's a nice lock shop. No, don't kill that, you just take the, you just take the torch. I'm gonna take it all to buy, instead. You had enough to buy the torch. The obsidian spear is not that good of a weapon, and now you can't get armor from your shops. Let's see if she does what I think is right. I mean, there's a case to be made for just taking the obsidian spear. A lot of a lot of racers will just argue like, no, 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 just take whatever. Way you don't have to check your shops. Anymore. But to me, there's so many good things in shops. Not 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 only armor, but mapping and courage shovel. And heals Back. if you need it. Yeah, you want to be able to check your shops. Um. She killed two, so neither of these were running shops. We're, we're gonna have the same uh, seed variants too, because they both killed at the same time. Uh, Axel didn't to get to flawless. Yeah. Uh, it's just a it's regular luck, though. <laughs> Who gets a pulse spell in the the next floor yeah. here? Oh, but she saw that there was a she blood magic pulsed. That trap door. That, that's that's dangerous. That's kind of dangerous. He's probably Ooh. gonna go try to find that trap door. No. This is a weird uh, zone two layout here. He's gonna get an extra bomb for his troubles. He's got to pulse that. Uh... Oh my god, that trap door could be a huge difference. She's already on two three. Yeah, this layout is garbage. <laughs> He's gonna get a hand for his troubles, which is really not that good. I'd rather have the the cookies. Oh, and Axum finding an obsidian rapier in the 2-3 black chest. Yeah, I'm sure that he's going to find that eventually. That's why you don't kill for the spear. You're going to find a weapon probably better than that. Especially when, especially with the um, with the with the plus one, like any blood move attack is better. Like I'd say blood cutlass and blood staff are better than, the, than all that. So he's going to get this food shop though. He kind of wishes he still had that ham, but he's going to get chicken oh she's got a scroll of need so she should she should pulse herself down to half a heart and then scroll of need but using the pulse really well on these trap doors taking them out okay so she just took a hit to get down to the <laughs> need but like she could have just pulsed it's it's a lot easier at least having trouble getting out of this two three she's already on three two but she, like I said, she's only got half a heart of that potion. He's got a lot of health. There's that rapier for him. He's going to take the trap door. And pulse it down. Or not. Okay. Yeah, you can just do that. Yep. It's the same thing, basically. Yeah, she's excellent. finding this trap door, but this, this, this hot dog is making her life uh, pretty hard. Yeah, he's gonna find the trap door. It's a it's a fast zone three, at least three one and three two are pretty fast. Anytime That's you good. can find trap doors in zone three, it's gonna be a great boon to your. To he your was race. gonna bomb into the. She was gonna bomb into the shop, and you're like, oh yeah. The crowd, <laughs> the crowd of the crowd agreed. Uh, I don't have the shop anymore. Oh, it takes it from Diagonal Slime. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Finds a ham. He's trying to get up this. And Axum got hit by a bomb goblin already using their potion down to a heart and a half. Ooh. All right, Paratrooper is down to 3-3. Three, three. He's having no trouble with this early swarm. He's going the wrong way. He stepped on a, he, he stepped on a teleport <laughs> trap, and he got chopped by the shop mimic. <laughs> Step on it again. Back to the shop. Oh, teleport trap. Why? Not helping out. One more time. No, he's lost it. He's <laughs> lost the teleport trap. He got covered by the... He wasn't willing to take a hit from the cauldron mimic. Um, he has to be really unhappy with how this is going to He's going to find that trap. 
Uh, he's not going to take it. Maybe he, he actually might not have seen it. I, there's When you're racing, there's a bit of a tunnel vision. It can be easy to miss that. But he's going to get some bombs. He's way behind now. He's got to hope for a death, which is definitely possible. Um, or something like really, really strong. Axum finding some spike. Oh, excellent pulse through the wall there. Getting five damage on the dragon. That was really good. Yeah, I always forget that pulse some... goes through the wall. She could really use a she could really use a ham right about now. Alright, she's only 4-2. This 4-2 is taking her a long time. There's there is one item gargoyle there. Oh jeez, it's back to full. Oh, there's a ring of region. And a heart. And a, heart. <laughs> and a conjurer. I don't know if he's going to go conjure armor and a grenade charm. Yeah, he's going to conjure some armor, and he can start pushing now really hard. Um, yeah, so this is going to be interesting now. It's two floors behind, but now with the, with the grenades, he can kind of just... I should have pulsed. He should have pulsed. I saved him <laughs> a couple of beats. Yeah, with the grenade charm, we can uh, open the mini boss room, huck the grenade in there, and you pretty much got it cleared out already. Yeah. Well, she, she has some trouble with that 4 3. He's going to have a lot easier time if he uses his grenade. Uh, he's got eight grenades, and he's also got a bomb spell, so he can. Uh... Oh, oh, oh bathe he's in fire. Damage. <laughs> taking damage there. Oh, there's, there's the, grenade the grenade that he drops finally, but he's down a four three. Did she just take a hit on? No, she got a bonus. Might be a little too much, a little too late for him. He's going to get some more health. He's very healthy. He needs to start using this health by pulsing a lot and huck his grenades into the to the wall. He needs to just open it and use grenades. The worst thing that happens is he's just going to... Um, oh, oh that's Telemarkey. that's not good. <laughs> that was a, kind of a trolley telemonkey. He actually handled it really well up until that telemonkey, which was, I guess, is uh, not really comforting. He really should. Uh, he can just, yeah, grenade down here now. He oh, it takes grenade. a hit. He needs to, he needs to just, like, grenade again. All right, he's willing to grenade. He's throwing one grenade. Like he doesn't need that many bombs. He just needs two grenades because he's got a bomb spell. He actually doesn't need any grenades. He's got enough health to just uh to just use his bomb spell. So he should just huck his grenades into the, in, in here. Yeah, so he's he's backing up and. Not sure, because that was an 8 damage, that was an 8 health enemy, and he didn't want to lunge at it. He doesn't really have a choice, he needs to just take hits. Yeah, that's fine, just take that hit. More excellent pulse usage on Axum's side, taking out that mini boss before going down to Dead Ringer here. Well, he's not that far behind, he's only a, he's only a level behind, and we saw that his he had excellent lunges, or not lunges, excellent uh, lures on uh he went the wrong way he really went the wrong way oh dear yeah it was, it was to the right he, he read it last time he read it on, on the five two it's the same layout it's gonna tank some hits here oh no actually get some good all right neck of dancer about to be in phase two for axum though he just if he doesn't misread five three, I think he's got a really good chance. She's having trouble with these lures. Only got two hits. Oh. He's gonna, he's gonna free this pretty quickly. Three hits. This pair is gonna need some excellent teleports and lures here. Well, that's a really good pulse. Get rid of that ogre. It's not a bad teleport, but it's he's got to get a couple of he's got to get three hits first. Oh, oh Axum no, going down! She just died to the black skeleton. 
coming in too hard. Yeah. Oh. Paratroopa's going to take that opportunity to head down those stairs and grab the win. How many, how many times have you jumped into a black skeleton on the Necrodancer? Oh, I've done that, and uh, Blood Nightmares, I've got Ogre Stomped. <laughs> it's not a safe fight. I once, had an, I once had an Ogre spawn, like, in line with me, and I, like, jumped towards him, and he just smacked me on the next beat. Like, he spawned <laughs> with his club up, and I'm just like, oh, okay. <sighs> it's yeah. the most amusing. Hmm. Tough, 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 tough fight. Um, she had a lot of stuff there, and, and, and Paratrooper was breathing down her neck, so, uh, ugh. I got frozen on over in mid-swing. Yeah, sometimes you get frozen, and then, like, they move first. Like, they get unfrozen first, and they just smack you, and you're just like, this doesn't feel good. <laughs> Tied match here. We'll see who can take over the 2-1 uh, victory in this next seed. Yeah, 2-1. Big deal. Um, getting those two points is very important. A few people play without the beat lines there, Nick. Um, some people find it distracting. Ooh, stake dagger. It's not, it's not that hard. I mean... I can play. I I've done uh, like no music percent, right? No oh music, right. Yep. No I music. That. No <laughs> um, yeah, it was. It wasn't even that slow of a time. It was. It was kind of like a normal. It was like a nine minute time. I had kind of a regular build. You just get used to to it in your head. I mean, you play it as much as I have. Um, and you can just kind of hear the music and also you can see how the enemies are going Just a problem for like Fortissimal and 4-3 and stuff. That's a worse weapon than what you already have That obsidian dagger is probably the best thing you can find on that 1-1 chest uh, ooh, ooh, taking a hit. hit He's gonna bomb in there. I don't know if I do. 1-2 shots are pretty good though It's uh, not bad. Uh, Paratroopers gonna get the- I don't the, know uh... what to take there! <laughs> Gonna I go think, with the I gold think, warhammer. I think you have four options there, and they're all kind of good. Yeah. I think Excellent. maybe I think I think the obsidian broadsword is maybe the best choice, but I don't really like it too much. So I think you should you can go ahead and just take the the glass cloak sword. Yeah, Axum decided to stay with the obsidian dagger, but doesn't have a bomb for uh, their their boss here. So it's gonna oh, be a core real riff. slow That's core I... riff. That's why I wouldn't want to. You kind of want to keep it because maybe you get uh, deep blues, and it's it's very quick. But in this case, it's not. And she also went down the trap door, so if it was deep, even if it was deep blue, she wouldn't have been able to do it. So she's gonna lose about thirty seconds here. We're gonna see the difference here in when he goes down to uh, to. Oh, she also got oh. hit. He gets earth tome, so it's not very good. So like, she probably still has the better weapon, maybe. But yeah, he's down there at like 205, and she's gonna be there at like 225 or so. Lots of bombs in this 2 1. Showing us down in air tones. Oh, he's gonna get a nice gold kill, and he's gonna get himself some lucky too. Lucky charm. Can't believe that was just a total, total freaking. Uh, joke suggestion that became real <laughs> oh the lucky charm should totally drop the leprechaun should totally drop the lucky charm and it would do the same thing as during the luck okay that's good <laughs> add it in the game yeah and that's how we found out the ring of luck was actually really stupid <laughs> she can open that crate she can't do it yet she needs no, oh, she was splashed by a mushroom. Oh, she just went up. She was, I don't know. She just had to dig left. All she had to do was dig left to, to deal with that mole. I think she got a little spooked. Um, I mean, it's so easy to get spooked. Really. Oh, there's an axe in that shop. It looks like a blood axe. Maybe a ring of war. I can't tell with the or piercing. It's, a, it's probably a ring of luck. I think it looks just like a normal ring. Okay. 120 is cheap. Oh, probably charisma, actually. But he should go in there and buy that axe. He probably 
he's actually probably really um, comfortable with this Warhammer, and his opponent is. Oh. Whoa! Sorry. The hot jams. <laughs> Sorry, my phone went off. That was weird. Yeah, but Paratrooper with this Warhammer, it's going to be a super defensive build here, which is kind of nice with your opponent dead. Probably like my grandmother. She can commentate. Put her in yeah. Discord. <laughs> she doesn't have the internet. <laughs> Checking yeah, purple chest. He's going to stick with this Warhammer. Like this, he could die very easily still. He needs some armor and some a little bit of health back to be really comfortable. All right, some uh, hot coals are getting trapped by an earth dragon. Well, that'll that'll stop the hot coals, the explorer boots now. You just have to slide on the side. So he can, he can fireball. Nope, it's, we're going so for a ride. It's, it's, safe to not, it's safe to not fire. Axum decided to take the, uh, or found a glass cat, rather. Oh, there's some uh, some health in it. Yeah, that's a good call from the glass cat. Just go ahead and try to play catch up with this. There's not a whole lot in the shops up ahead because you, you see that Paratrooper basically doesn't have anything uh, more. He has a couple of things, but some of that he picked up from the, that shop on 3 1 just now, so she can just kind of like try to get through to zone 3. To pick up There's that the torch and the yeah, helmet. The torch. That's half, his, that's half of his equipment right there. Yeah, right. 3 2. He's not going to die to anything. He's got chainmail level armor now. So uh, he's not going to die from anything just yet. Uh. That's a very good ring now. He no longer has chainmail of armor, but I think he's gonna be fine. Uh, all he needs now is to find uh, a damage up, and he's got a, a super, super safe weapon. It's already pretty safe as it is. He just has to worry about like warlocks and stuff. Which we'll see in uh, zone four coming up here after Fortissimo. Yeah, he doesn't have to worry about getting stuck on shields or anything, because he can he'll just bash. Oh, he's gonna fist bump. This all here and oh, gets splashed by him too. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, this that is a bad Ooh. spirit's gone, and it kind of forced her to retreat. And she had to pick up that ring of shadows in the process. And now, uh, now her <laughs> build is looking a whole lot worse than it did two yeah. seconds ago. Definitely don't want that ring of shadows without mapping in tow with it. No, um. Maybe she can find the shop on 3-2. Yeah, <laughs> Looking lost probably. already, though. Yeah, not really adequate mapping. Oh, it's a strength charm. Oh, that's a nice find. She's actually really lucky that uh, Paratrooper did not find that strength charm, or he would have already basically finished the game by now. <laughs> You would have oh, had a much easier slide. Oh, oh, the earth! Oh, the earth wow! All right. <laughs> nice okay. defensive play by Axel. She knows what her panic buttons are. She's, <laughs> she's got him on the ready. Slide the earth. Oh, he's got he's, he's got uh he's got some some quartz now, some quartz armor. Axel. Oh, she lost. She got, lost it. Yeah, got clapped and lost oh, the glass she also just got back. That helm has saved her life. Oh, she's not really. She's. This has got to feel so gross right now. This ring of shadows. There's the ring of piercing and heavy glass, but she's. <laughs> it. All that comes one floor too late. <laughs> could have had that glass had, cat. If she could have had this glass cat stool. She would be in super good position to to catch up. Um, Paratrooper just finding a potion, so extra safe now. Yeah, well, she just is gonna have to do fortissimo uh, with this dagger. It's a two damage dagger, so she's only got to pop him twice. But um, she should just shield and then not lose her her B. Looks she like that's what's gonna happen. Oh, she, she did lose her beat. Oh. Yeah, she she needed to hit the uh, the beetle and said she like fist bumped him. It's so easy to do that. We kind of I'm I'm actually just kind of trained to. Um, fist bump the beetles now. Oh, she's gonna have to. Oh, praise ham. 
gonna stay alive. Paratrooper checking black chess and finding a gi. <laughs> so I mean that hey, it's a, that's a two damage warhammer. And you got the potion, so you got yeah, it's, it's safe. It's a couple of hits, yeah, it's safe. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, and there's a ring of becoming. He's gonna go ahead and switch axe. to this axe. I uh, I also wouldn't be taking those. Well, there's really no need to have the explorer's boots anymore. As long as he doesn't forget about him and try to wrangle uh, stuff with the, uh, the the shoes. Yeah, he's got a lot of time. It's, unless Axum finds a courage shovel and courage and a warhammer right now. And she gets to keep her piercing. Cool. Takes a tell, monkey. Yeah, it's the right call, but... Oh, she got confused. She planted a bomb, and she just ran right into the bomb. <sighs> so nasty. Our quartz armors are actually useless with the quartz armor already? How, how so? Wait, let's see. Paratroop is down to 5-3, though, electrifying everything with that golden axe. and will be down that's, to Deadringer. That reduces one and a half heart hits to half a heart, so that's fine. That's all it does, but it still does something. He's a little hurt. We still got a potion, though. See, uh, X Oblivion strats, perhaps? Or it's just lure. lures, yeah. <laughs> I always forget about lures. Oh, Earth, uh, not Earth. Well, Gold kill? Earth. Oh. He's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see how many bombs. Looks like Paratrooper has enough bombs, though, to take down the stage. He's got, like, four left, I think. Yeah, he's, 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 it's a very, it's been a very bomb-heavy scene. He can even Earth to kill this dragon. Um, well, I never came up, but he could have used that earth to kill stuff. Oh yeah, he had a hard time doing the earth kills on Dead Ringer because of that, that big dig he's got. One more hit Warhammer. for the Necker Dancer. There yeah, it is. Very, I'm sure it was a very comfortable seat for more hammer piercing for the most part. Um, just Axum was never able to make up enough time after she died. And then she goes down to the stupid piercing interaction. If you pierce the orc shields but don't do enough damage to kill him, it still smacks you. Oh yeah, they still they still dunk you. Well, there's the match. Two to one going to Axum. Uh the first what was it? The first oh no, race? no, no, it's it's three oh. He he got done first on that on the first race, oh, apparently. I was just gonna say that uh the first race was still in review, but you yeah, Paratrooper thinks that she got it, but he might have just got a quick duck to you before she did. Um, yeah, Max says it's pin review. Alright, it is going to be reviewed then. Okay.